five is in search of some summertime athletic adventure. First at five tonight. That's right. Our first story takes us to the water. It isn't unusual for Nova Scotians and New Brunswickers to make PEI a summertime destination, but it is unusual for neither the Confederation Bridge nor the ferry nor an airplane to be the method of transportation. <laughs> CTV's Jonathan McGinnis caught up with five adventure-seeking maritimers who headed for the gentle island over not-so-gentle waters of the Northumberland Strait. John. Well, I did just that, uh, Liz and Jackie. I felt like I was part of history today. While well, my role was limited, I guess, I was there nonetheless uh, as these kite surfers attempted quite a feat. Here's what happened. As these five kite boarders approach the beach in St. Anne, New Brunswick, they know they're in for a wild ride. It's going to be sick. <laughs> After the kites are inflated, life jackets and helmets are secured, and it's time to launch. The group's goal is to ride across the Northumberland Strait. Well, we're the first uh, to do the crossing uh, kite surfing, so that's always fun. We, we've had this in mind for, for a while yet, and we're happy that we can put it together today. And that's a distance of about 20 kilometers. The group expects to land at the lighthouse in West Point, Prince Edward Island. And they say, depending on the wind, the crossing could take anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour and a half. Inherently, kite surfing can be a dangerous sport, but there are so many safety precautions that you can take to make it a very safe sport. And uh, it's probably one of the more extreme sports that's accessible to the average person. The group has arranged a safety boat carrying extra gear to accompany them. If we can't make it back on our own, I mean, ideally we'd like to kite there and then kite back. But if we can't do that, we're going to go uh, hop on the boat and uh, go use him to kind of maybe catch some fish along the way. I don't know. These enthusiasts are riding the wave of a sport that is growing in popularity. And they hope this feat will bring even more exposure to the sport here in the Maritimes. Sport is the fastest growing water sport in the world. Uh, it's growing everywhere. It's been growing here consistently uh, in southeastern New Brunswick. Shipping in has been well organized for years. The group certainly got the attention of everyone on the beach. I think that's great. Uh, I think it's awesome. I wasn't expecting it. Uh, I wish I could do it. It's going to be fine, I think. The kite boarders admit an attempt like this isn't for beginners. They're all very experienced. And while the distance they'll cover today is within reach, it's today's reach across the provinces that has these kite boarders flying high. And Liz, the guys have been planning this for a long time. It's not a task they took lightly or did on a whim. And we'll let you know tomorrow how they made out. Do you think, Jonathan, you could do that and hold the camera at the same time? Uh, I don't know. I'd, I'd give it a try. <laughs> Boy, that looks like quite a sport. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Jonathan McGinnis for us this evening. Over to you, Jackie. He'd be pretty talented if he could, Liz.